What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today is Tuesday, that means a new vendor refresh for all of the vendors in the tower. We're gonna take a look at the best roles for each vendor, and we're gonna start off with the Crucible Quartermaster here. And the first gun we're gonna look at is the Hero Formula. This is a really good PvE role on this scout rifle. We got Firefly, Brace Frame, Explosive Rounds, Zen Moment for more stability, Mulligan, and we got some really nice sight options too. The Red Dot ORA2, the Range Lens, and the OEG. This thing is going to tear it up in PvE right now. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the Palindrome. Not a great roll on the Palindrome this week. Hidden Hand, Reinforced Barrel. Reinforced Barrel is definitely second best to Rifle Barrel. It's tough to take that stability hit uh, to get the range. Rifle Barrel is a much better perk. Uh, but this isn't an awful roll. It's just not as good as what we've seen in the past. We also got Lightweight. Triple tap, spray and play, steady hand, sure shot, and quick draw. Next up, a really, really good roll on the event horizon for PvP. This one's got hidden hand, quick draw, snapshot, army of one, life support, and it does have the short gaze SLH10. So this is a really nice roll for PvP right now. Uh, Look at it, quick draw and snapshot. This is going to be a preference thing. I like quick draw better than snapshot but it may be a preference thing. Give both a shot, see which one works better for you, uh, but definitely pick this up if you like sniping in the Crucible. Next up, New Monarchy has the goods this week for a change. We got a couple of very interesting roles here. The first is going to be the Assembly 2. Now, this is that high rate of fire auto rifle that used to be really popular with the Doctrine of Passing and has fallen out of favor a little bit, but if you're still looking for one of these, this isn't an awful roll. It's got hidden hand to assist your aim assist a little bit. Perfect balance to up that stability. I'd like to see the stability a little higher on this. Honestly, I'm gonna have to give this one a shot to really see how good it is. Uh, I don't know if that stability is gonna be high enough to really make this thing useful in the Crucible. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to actually test it out. We've also got hot swap, high caliber rounds, and snapshot. Uh, the sights aren't too bad either. Reflex, quick draw IS, and OEG Rifle Scope. Not a bad roll on the assembly. I would like to see that stability get a little bit higher, but this might be good enough. We'll have to wait and actually test it out. Uh, next, we also have a really good roll on the shotgun. This is the Bad Council 4, and uh, this is gonna be a really good PVE roll. We got full auto, small bore for a little extra range and stability, close and or personal, extended mag, snapshot, and aggressive ballistics. So really nice looking PVE roll on the Bad Council this week. So finally, New Monarchy has some stuff actually worth picking up. Next up, the Vanguard Quartermaster has some interesting roles, if nothing, that's absolutely OP. The Continental has a cool role with very high stability, counterbalance, small bore, and rodeo all combined for very high stability, with the only downside being that you do lose out on reload speed and magazine size. Uh, we also got a cool roll on the Angel's Advocate. Again, not exactly a god roll, but not too bad. Reactive Reload, Perfect Balance, Hammer Forged, Outlaw, and Who's Next. Then we'll move on to the Seventh Sense Sniper Rifle. This thing's interesting as well. Hidden Hand, again, for that high stability. Quick Draw, which of course we like. Casket Mag. Grenadier and Mulligan, and we also do have the Short Gaze SLH-10 on this one. And the Bone Crusher has a very interesting role as well. This one's got crowd control, hand laid stock for more stability or rifle barrel for more range. We got feeding frenzy, spray and play, and aggressive ballistics. This is a really interesting role. I'm not positive if it's gonna be as controllable as we want it to be, but it's definitely worth taking a look at. Heading over to Dead Orbit, we got three very Dead interesting Orbit. rolls. Uh, I think all three of them I actually want to pick up this week. Extreme File 011 is a mid-impact auto rifle that just seems to have a nasty roll on it. Hidden Hand is going to help with that aim assist. Perfect Balance is going to raise up that stability. And High Caliber Rounds is going to flinch your targets. This thing looks to be a pretty nasty PvP roll, and I love the reflex sight, so I'm going to be picking this one up for sure. Next up, we have another good roll on the Keystone. This thing almost never fails to disappoint at this point. Uh, crowd control, small bore, and explosive rounds. I think this thing could be good in PvE, definitely, and PvP maybe. Uh, definitely worth at least taking a look at. And then we have a fusion rifle, Worlds to Come. This is one of those really high impact fusion rifles and it's got rangefinder 
and small bore on it to increase the range and stability. Then we have a choice between enhanced battery and snapshot, as well as, again, that reflex sight. I like the look of this thing. It all depends on what range those bolts are going to really do damage at and how reliable it is. But we'll be checking this one out in the Crucible as well. Last but not least, well, actually kind of least, Future War Cult has a couple interesting rolls, if not god rolls, this week. Uh, the Whale is cool. It's got the Luck of the Chamber, Small Bore, and Explosive Rounds combination. This is going to be a fun gun. It's not going to be an overpower gun. It's not going to be a max, max range hand cannon. Uh, it's not going to be the perfect weapon for anything. But the combination of Luck of the Chamber and Explosive Rounds can make it fun for PvE or PvP. So if you just want a fun gun to mess around with, this could be your Huckleberry. Next, we have a kind of cool roll on the Wounded as well. Uh, this one comes with crowd control, perfect balance, and high caliber rounds. If you get on a roll in the Crucible with this thing, you could have a lot of fun on it. And it's not going to hurt you in PvE as well, although there are certainly better rolls for PvE. So that's going to do it. Not a bad week for vendor refreshes. Uh, I definitely am picking up that Event Horizon. That's one of the best rolls on the Event Horizon for PvP I've seen. And I'm really looking forward to picking that one up. Uh, expect a lighter load of videos tomorrow. I don't expect to actually release any videos tomorrow. It will be a travel day as I head out to LA to attend the Destiny 2 uh, reveal event, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to do that. Uh, but it will be a travel day, so don't expect any videos tomorrow. Uh, this afternoon, I'll probably be packing, so no live streams, no videos. Uh, this will be it until we start really talking about Destiny 2 and what we've seen. So... That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.